season's greetings to all of my YouTubers. Yay! Why am I saying season's greetings? Because it is not only July, it is Christmas in July. Yes, yes it is. Which means I'm going to be baking and cooking Christmas holiday fun items today. I've got my Christmas shirt on. I could not, for the life of me, find my Christmas Santa hats, so I just pulled out a red beanie because they're probably packed in with the Christmas tree and I'm not about to unpack my Christmas tree just to find some Christmas hats. I should. I know. But anyways, on that note, you're probably wondering why I am doing Christmas in July. What is Christmas in July? I have no idea what's going on with my hair right here, but I could like insert a little um, blurb of Christmas in July. I think I already did this in a different video. But basically, Every July, I try to do at least one thing that's Christmas related in July since, I don't know, probably since high school. And today, I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing this time. So, my videos, uh, today we will be baking four different things. No, four. We will be cooking one item. We will be baking three items. Three different desserts and cooking dinner. So, we have press and roll candy canes, which I'll insert the picture. We'll have Cheerio Christmas trees. I did not buy green food coloring because food coloring was expensive and I could not remember if it's food stamp approved. I mean, it should be because it's edible, but I didn't buy it. And then we're going to make Santa Claus strawberries and then stuffed red peppers for dinner. But I did not upload a video last week because it was 4th of July. I did not want to take away from that holiday and upload Christmas videos. I hope everybody last week had a very safe holiday. I hope your pets were safe. I, I would put something in my hat because it's very, there we go. This is the look I'm going for. Yes, this might be my thumbnail. All right, I took off my hat for a minute because I was getting hot and I was running around trying to grab all the ingredients for my stuffed peppers. And yeah, I got a little warm. So anyways, all I did, what you guys did miss is I just cooked some rice right here um, we didn't have any minute rice like the 90 second rice so I just cooked and I know that's like a lot I probably made way too much I probably should have stuck with just one cup because I forgot that like when it's not the 90 second rice that it fluffs up a lot but that's okay because I like rice and I'm sure I'm gonna eat it like later on I can um, we're gonna have gyros one time this week which is not part of the Christmas video but that's a lot of rice. Um, anyway, so then I just cut off the tops of my peppers. I stuck them in the oven right there, only because I like to get my uh, peppers soft before I stuff them and then rebake them. The butter is actually soft, so I can go ahead and get the ingredients for the Cheerios Christmas trees ready. And the cream cheese is soft, so I can start doing the crescent rolls. And that is where I am at right now. I'm just waiting for the peppers to be done um, baking so far. I've got like about five and a half minutes left on that. And I'm sorry, you guys are like free seeing my shirt. Um, I got like five and a half minutes left on the peppers pre-cooked. And then I will start on the hamburger and get that cooking. And then I will stuff the peppers.
Okay, so if you saw that explosion, um, yeah, that kind of scared the crap out of me. I don't know what happened, so now I have to go and clean that up. Apparently today is not a good day to cook. That pan is a baking pan dish, so um, I don't know if taking it out of the oven and not letting it cool or what, but that... Yeah, you guys, yeah, so I have no fucking clue what happened. Those are baking dishes. But look at this. So now I have to, like, clean up all of this glass. I went all the way over there, rinse these off really, really good. And then it went on the floor. I did kind of sweep it up. Don't worry, I'm keeping my animals away from the glass. I did not step on it luckily but I have no idea what happened and I'm kind of freaking out right now because I've never had a glass explode like that the good thing the only good thing I could say no glass got in my hamburger it well basically exploded that way which I'm still trying to figure out how so right now I'm just trying to pick up the pe peppers put them in that container so I can wash them off I don't know maybe that dish wasn't a baking dish Maybe that dish shouldn't have had peppers in it. Okay, luckily there was no glass in the peppers. So, got those rinsed off. Yes, I'm avoiding cleaning that glass up, but I, I'm... now that that crisis is over and I've cleaned up all of the glass washed off the peppers and I know that no glass went into my hamburger mix like I said so. all right so while that's cooking I'm gonna use this pan which I know for a fact will not crack I have no idea what happened but we're gonna use this one I'm gonna put the peppers in in this container I'm getting water everywhere but oh well I really don't care right now. Let's pick it up. Put those in there. Those aside. Oven is at. You guys can see. That. Oven is at 350. Hamburger.
Now that I have all of those peppers covered in like a weird way, I'm not gonna cover them, but we're going to open my oven. We're gonna put this in here for, let's see, timer. We'll say 25 minutes and we'll go from there. All right, I just turned off the oven to let the peppers cool and I just turned off the timer. That did not seem like 25 minutes. It seemed like 15 minutes. But anyways, look at how yummy these look, you guys. Oh my God, those look so good. Yes, like I said, I'm going to keep those in there. I'm gonna keep those in there and let them cool down. I'm going to add some Oh, hold on. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God, that looks so, so good. Look at those. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in my bowl. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up with my hands. Put it in my bowl. Now let's try and taste it. Ooh, hot. All right, now the dinner is done, over with, and ate. It is time to make some strawberry banana Santa Claus. So let me point my, all right. So we're gonna start with some strawberries here. We move my plate over. All right, so we got my banana, we've got my strawberries, and these are some good looking strawberries. They are whipped cream and your chocolate chips, the mini chocolate chips. So we're just gonna cut off the top here and cut this part off right here. I guess I should open my banana here. Don't like you're supposed to cut it from the bottom top, but then you just cut your bananas kind of like as much as the middle part would be. I'm going to do a few of them. So you basically take your bottom, you put that on your plate, you put your banana, put it on top of the strawberry. You can put a little dab of whipped cream if you so choose, just to make it stick. Put your top on. Actually, you do need a little extra than that. Put your top on somehow. Put a little bow thingy. Take your chocolate chips. For the eyeballs. And there you have it, guys. Christmas strawberry banana Santa Claus. Now, if I really wanted to, I could put some chocolate chips on here for like the arms and the legs and do all that. But look at that. That is so cute. What is up, my YouTubers? Okay, so yesterday I ate dinner. Did not get around to filming all the desserts. So since today is Sunday, yes, I am in the same shirt. Yes, because it is still Christmas in July and the shirt's super comfortable. But today is baking day and we're gonna be making candy cane crescent rolls and the Cheerio Christmas trees. And if you see Jim walking around in the background, say hi to him. I'm sure he'll say hi to you. But so basically step one is to set the oven to 350. So we need to go ahead and set, set the oven. I got my big heat 
because my other pan's dirty, so we'll carry that to this side. And let me find my recipe that's on my thing here. All right, so we need, I am halfing these recipes, by the way. I don't feel like making the full recipes. One, because Jim doesn't care for cream cheese. And I don't think I can eat a whole candy cane by myself filled with cream cheese. Just because I'm pregnant does not mean that I can. That's a little too sweet for me. But I'm going to try to put it on my other camera so you guys can see me actually baking it at a different angle. All right, so step one besides turning on the oven to 350. So we have to break these open. Which I'm sure is going to. They don't really scare me anymore. If you guys ever break open crescent rolls, they tend to scare people. But oh, yeah, they also say to get a pizza cutter so you can mold it into a cake. cake. But see if I can. There we go. All right. So it says to unroll the crescent rolls and set into two sections. Well, basically set into one section. I guess you could still set it into two sections, even though I'm half in the recipe. We will just go from there. Let me see if I can click down my instructions. I have my instructions on my laptop here that I'm reading. So, all right. So, hopefully you guys can see my other camera here. Okay. Basically, I guess two sections. So, they have these lines here. And then I'm just going to separate them like so. And I guess one set you're supposed to set mold into a candy cane. And I have no idea how to do this. This will be fun. Um, as I'm ripping them all. Um, well, that part's going to go for the top. We're just going to go for this side. Uh not going to be a very good candy cane here. It's going to be a very odd shaped candy cane. Now I understand what they say. Put I wonder if I could just roll this into a ball and then put it out there. That would be so much easier than to just I can put some more on this side because I know it has to be kind of thick and I just realized I did not spray my pan. So that's okay. No kitty. No. Down. This is the world's worst candy cane right here. Yes. Uh, you know what? It's not really about presentation, is it? It's about trying to make it taste good. So I think I'll add a little extra to the top here. And that is what we're working with right here. That, that is the start of my candy cane. All right. So the next part says, um, in a medium mixing bowl, combine together the cream cheese, powdered sugar, lemon juice, vanilla extract to mix well. Medium bowl. All right, so I scroll back up to find out my, we'll put these aside somewhere up here. All right, so we've got my, what am I reading here? We'll start from the bottom to uh, back. Two teaspoons, so one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I need my measuring spoon, so that would help. I kind of also need to open the cherries. I should have planned this out a little bit better. But this is about how my holiday baking is going the past two days. From my disaster yesterday of the glass exploding from cooking stuffed peppers or attempting to cook stuffed peppers. By the way, they ended up turning out phenomenally. They were so good. I ate both of mine and then I regretted eating both of mine because it was so filling. But I need to open the can of... 
cherries. Now, since I didn't have any like smaller cans of cherries, that kind of sucks. So I have to use half of this can, but you work with what you can. All right, going back to what we we're doing. So we need how much vanilla? So we need one teaspoon. Well, this is half a teaspoon. So we're gonna pour uh, one teaspoon. So two of these, one, two, two vanillas, two vanillas. Then we need the lemon juice. We need how much lemon juice do we need? We need half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of lemon juice. My cat's really angry at me right now because this is usually where they eat. And I move their food because they're not eating right now, they're sleeping. But since I'm in his spot, he is very angry at me. Um, and then we need powdered sugar, which is half a cup. So half a cup of half a cup is fourth of a cup. Fourth cup powdered sugar. Half a cup of half a cup. Yes, because that makes sense. You heard that beeping in the background. That was the stove. Stove is ready. So we'll put the half cup. Fourth cup. Fourth cup of powdered sugar. Fourth cup of powdered sugar. I don't know where to stick this right now. We'll stick that over there. And then it says the cream cheese, which is how much? Cream cheese. One pack. So it's half a pack. You know what? We'll just use the... Well, that's not going to do it. I need scissors. A few minutes later. Actually, I could have used a knife to do this, but you know what? We're just used scissors. It's fine. It's all good. All right, so half my cream cheese. I have another recipe for the other half of cream cheese that I was going to make, and I have no idea where it is, but that's okay. If I can open my cream cheese here. As it's going to All right. Then it says... It doesn't really say stir anything. It just says combine it and then spread. Well, obviously you have to stir it. So I guess I really didn't need a really big bowl. Oh, I just realized that the really big bowl is going to go for the Cheerios, which means I have to freaking rinse this out and use it for the Cheerios. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So basically, once you get this all kind of in a somewhat of a that doesn't look like a lot of cream cheese but since I'm happy in the recipe alright then we'll take this and a spatula alright so then it says to spread what does it say it says to spread cream cheese mixture on top of crescent rolls in the candy cane shape so, I'm just going to take a crust, a spatula. We're just going to spread it here as much as I can here. It actually might be really good. Actually, it's like, it's funny because like, you know, like danishes, that's what I really like. And that's what it reminds me of. And that's what I'm excited about. Because if I can make this instead of a danish, now I have too much cream cheese mixture. That's awesome. I think I made my candy cane too small. I have to make my candy cane a little bit bigger. I don't know where to make my candy cane a little bit bigger. Because, uh, huh. I guess I could put more on this side, maybe? I'll just spread it up. Why not use all this cream cheese? Because this is like a lot.
like I said, it's not about presentation so much as it is taste. So I don't know what's going on with mine there. All right. Well, I do have some left, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm not even going to like worry about that right now. I'm just going to go from there. And then it says you have to spoon the cherries on top. So I need a, you know what? We will just use a one teaspoon, um, one teaspoon thingy to do it that way. I have to open this somehow. How do I have to open it? Failing! Failing! Alright, let's open this somehow. Now I'm getting cherries everywhere. Okay. Now, see if I can get some cherries in there. Don't you dare come up your key cap. There is you you don't you don't need up your kitty. You only need one up here when I'm doing something, as if I'm gonna feed you. It's all fairness, yes, I know you eat up here. But there's no tuna up here for you right now. There's a lot of sugar that I'm sure you don't want to eat. Which I'm sure you do want to eat. By the way, don't ever feed your cats sugar. Um, or try not to. And let's just say don't feed your pets sugar. Unless they're horses and they eat sugar cubes, but even then. You have to be careful because I know horses, you're not supposed to feed them a lot of like sugar cubes, but um, yeah. all right, so that's what we have so far. This is why I have my other camera so you guys can see what we're working with. And then it says you're supposed to like twist these. And put these on top like so. No kitty, sir. It's it's not looking that that awesome, but that that's okay. And if I have leftover crescent rolls, that's okay. I will um just stuff them with some cherry stuff. Because that's okay. We will just figure it out. I've been wanting to make this recipe since like last month when I found it. And when I came up with the idea that I wanted to do Christmas in July, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to do this. Because one, you guys can see um, some new recipes. Two, you can see me um, spaz out and bake because I don't bake often. I usually bake pretty much during the holidays and that's about, <laughs> I cook a lot. I don't bake a lot not the fact that I can't bake, it's just the fact that I make a mess, like, all the time when I bake. Like, I can literally never bake with flour, and there'll be flour on the ceiling, like, somehow, for me baking. And I had powdered sugar this time, well, not looking too shabby, I don't know, I haven't seen the, um, the other camera yet, and when I edit this, I'll probably be like, wow, but it, it's not looking too shabby. Right now, I'm just trying to hope that the uh, crescent roll tops, the little twisties, um, bake. So, that is what we are doing right now. I will have... Perfect. All right. So, now, since I have two leftover little bits here, which is perfect, I am going to take... The rest of this cream cheese and put it in there. Put that cream cheese in there. I'll wash out my container in a little bit, but we're going to do that. Then we're going to do that. We're going to try to attempt to um, roll these guys up. Yeah, that's going to fall out, but that's okay. That's okay. They're going to have little, little parts. All right, so the last step, it says, is to uh, cut pieces set aside earlier into strips, which I already did. Put the filling, put the cherry stuff on top. Pinch the sides. Oh, so this is pinch the sides. 
Oh, you're supposed to. I get it. So you're supposed to pinch the sides down, so these stay in place when you bake them. That makes sense. That makes sense. Once I do all this, it says bake at 350 for 12 to 13 minutes. So we will put these in the oven for 12 to 13 minutes. Does go in. Set the timer. We'll do 12 minutes to start. All right, while those are baking, it's time to make the cheerio thing. And it dawned on me that I own two of these bowls. Yes. Yes, I own two of these bowls. So I could have not rinsed that one out and just used the clean one. So let's find the cheerio recipe. I will link all of these recipes below just in case. And like I said, I am going to half these. So, all right, first step is to take three cups of Cheerios. Three cups of Cheerios. Place them into a bowl and set them aside. And my cat just turned off the fan. Okay. My cat is on crack. All right, so we got three cups of Cheerios. One. Two. Three. Anybody want Cheerios? Cheerios! Yes, I gave my dog some Cheerios. All right, so pour Cheerios in a bowl and set the size. Okay. Then we need a large saucepan. Well, I don't have a large one because what happened is I have a small one. So let's go to the stovetop, shall we? Now this might be a weird angle. All right, now this might be a weird angle, but that's why I have my other camera set up right here, if you guys can see it, facing the stovetop so I can actually talk to you guys, read the um, directions, and film what I'm doing at the same time. All right, so the next one, in a saucepan, melt butter and marshmallows on medium heat, stirring consistently. All right, so since it called for six tablespoons of butter, it only calls for three, so I have to cut this because I only need three of these. We will cut this. Cut this because I only need three. One, two, three. And that's not going to work to cut that. Brand new, right out of the dishwasher. Tonight. All right, so three tablespoons butter. And I need my marshmallows. Got the marshmallows. So into the pot goes the butter. Butter. And marshmallows we need. Oh, but these is two and a half cups. So one, two, and yeah. Right. These aside somewhere. Put my back. All right, we got my whisk. It says on low to medium heat. So, low to medium heat. Now, while you are stirring these, you are supposed to add the green food coloring to the Cheerios. I did not buy green food coloring because it was expensive. I think, like I said, it was like, I don't know, $6.99 or something. I don't really remember. And I figured, you know what? We don't really, really need food coloring. I mean, I should have bought it if I was going to do authentic Christmas recipes. But let's face it. This is just 
it's it's been a, a fun um fun journey the past two days of trying to bake and cook for christmas time now not always this is not always happen like me cooking for christmas i usually cook like a couple different types of cookies um at least there's two cookies i always cook no matter what there's a sour cream cutouts and then there's like these stuffed ones they almost look like pop tarts which when i was making them last year it just it dawned on me that they they're kind of like popcorn and now I eat marshmallows like look at this guys I know you guys can see it on the other camera, but like, what? It says stir consistently. Well, how are you supposed to stir it? And it's sticking inside the whisk. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to use a spoon. But that's okay. So basically, once you do all this, it says coat your hands with cooking, cooking spray. Um, place... Grab a handful of the tree and make sure it's shaping it into trees. So basically, once you melt this down, you're supposed to pour it over the Cheerios. And then um, you're supposed to mix it in with the Cheerios and then make your candy um, Christmas tree shapes. Candy cane. I don't know what I'm making anymore. I have no idea. No idea what I'm doing. I like not melting. I have them in below heat. During. Ho, ho, ho. Did I buy the wrong marshmallows? Or are you just not wanting to melt? Now, I could have done this the lazy way because I did buy marshmallow fluff. But I would have ended up using probably all of that marshmallow fluff. And I don't want to because I still want peanut butter, banana, and marshmallow fluff sandwiches. So, yeah. Like, they're not melting at all. Like, they're not doing anything. They just might go a lot easier with a spoon. I don't know. Maybe I should just let them melt a little. Would you like to say hi to the viewers? Jim's watching, uh locked up abroad right now so he's kind of been a focus of tv since it's raining for the fifth day in a row and it's a good lazy day and it's sunday oh by the way today starts um week 11 of pregnancy but then i really think that they lied and said medium um to low low to medium heat because i'm pretty much on medium to high heat and it's not melting so i don't know if i brought the bought the wrong marshmallows if i should have bought bigger marshmallows but said mini marshmallows or if if, if my stove top is just stupid and now the candy canes are done so we have to take the candy canes out before they burn so so that's gonna be fun um let me just turn that off then. Open the oven. Let's take these out, shall we? Actually, let's just take this out. That is what this looks like. Oh, I might keep it in there a little, a little longer just because the crescent rolls don't look really baked. So I'm going to put that in there for about... I'll just let it cool in the oven. Because they don't look really baked. See? Now it's melting. So apparently me using a whisk. Now we know. Use a spoon to do this recipe. Not a whisk. Lesson learned. Alright, I think I pretty much got the consistency that I want now. Sweet, so I'm gonna turn off my oven so it doesn't burn. I'm gonna keep the spoon in there. We're gonna move my camera. All right, now we do not have any wax paper. Um, for some reason, I cannot find wax paper to save my life. At Walmart or Food Lion or like Family Value or anything, I don't know if they make wax paper anymore or if I'm just not looking that hard. So I've been looking for wax paper forever. So we're just going to go with some tin foil. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this for you guys will be able to see. Okay. 
right, so the base of my set, pour the mixture onto the Cheerios. So we're going to pour that into the Cheerios. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a fun sticky mess to clean up. All right, so then I need to as my spoon fell in the bowl. All right, it says coat your hands with don't my my hands are clean. I did wash them off, but it says coat your hands with cooking spray. As I probably just got my dog. All right, so I guess. I don't know why I just rubbed it all. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess. Oh, it's really hot. I guess we'll just mix it all up. You know what this reminds me of? Some Rice Krispie Treats. It's basically Rice Krispie Treats with Cheerios instead. So I guess you could have done this with Rice Krispie Treats too. Yeah, I probably didn't spray enough on my hands. And now I have to figure out how to. All right. So, well, this is just a big old sticky mess. Okay, so. And I just realized I probably should have sprayed my tinfoil. But we're going to shape these into Christmas trees or attempt to. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to spray my hands a little bit more because this is just. That's going mess here. Yeah, let me. Let me... All right. Round two. Okay, let's see if I can shape this thing here. And then it says you're supposed to take M&M's or pretty much any candy you want, but it calls for M&M's because they're supposed to be the Christmas balls. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do. I need to let the... I'm trying to do this fast because I don't want the... Um, the um, marshmallows to them um, cold here. Running out of room on my tin foil. Running out of room on my tin foil. Uh, what kind of Christmas tree that one was, but I have enough or possibly one more. I'm glad I only made half this recipe. Because, yeah. You know what? This one's going to be. A, a, a snowflake. This one's going to be a snowflake because they're starting to harden. All right. Now we get to tear into the M&M's. Hope I can dry off my hands a little bit better. And we're going to add some Christmas balls. We're adding Christmas balls. Would you like to add some Christmas balls, sir? Balls of Christmas, exactly. Trying to get the big fat trees to have more balls on them. I'll put some on the snowflake here. We'll put them, we'll put them in the middle. We'll add some Red Hots. Oh, let me rephrase it. Cinnamon sprinkles. The Red Hots. Let's just be real. 
which are like my favorite thing ever. Like, I love cinnamon candies. Always have. Cinnamon toothpaste when I was a kid. Cinnamon, like big red gum. Yes. I don't know what it was about cinnamon. Like, toothpaste. I don't even know if they make the cinnamon toothpaste anymore, come to think of it. If I could, if I could find it, that would be awesome. Because I do brush my teeth every single night, but if I had cinnamon toothpaste, come to think of it, I don't think cinnamon toothpaste was really that healthy to have. It's kind of like the bubblegum toothpaste when you go to the dentist as a kid, which, fun fact, if you are an adult, yes, you can ask for the bubblegum toothpaste at the dentist. So if you ever want the bubblegum toothpaste at the dentist, if you go, you can ask for it. All right. Some of my trees are a little bland, but some of them are okay. And then it says, um, all right, um, refrigerate for an hour before serving. So this is going to be fun to figure out how to carry this. Babes, I will need your assistance. Jim, I just need your assistance. All I need you to do is just grab that camera and follow me to the fridge. That's what this is for. Uh, yes. Alright, so these are what they look like. Sort of. And now we're going to the fridge. Which is going to be interesting to find out where in the fridge to put these. Because look at our fridge. Yes, we went food shopping finally, and I have no idea where to put these. I think I'll just take, move this down here. By the way, that's my leftover taco stuff that I made last night, or some pepper stuff. But we're just gonna shove that in there, let that set, and then we need to take these out before they burn. Or this out before it burns. Oh, yes. And then, all you do afterwards, taco is snow. <laughs> Thank you. And then we will take a picture. All right. So while those are chilling in the fridge for an hour, and I took out the crescent roll cream cheese thingies, which I'm very excited. I'm going to let that cool off, and then we will try them. So until then, we shall be back. All right. Just got out of the shower, so you're going to have to ignore me, but I am wearing the green keeping the Christmas theme, but we're going to dive into this thing and try. So, see if I can show you guys. I'm just going to cut off a little end piece here. The bottom. Not too bad. Definitely Tastes like one of those cherry cheese danishes. I probably would have put butter on the crescent rolls or thinned it out more. I probably next time might make this with pizza dough, like those crescent roll pizza dough thingies. But overall, so, so good. That one.